Hi, I'm Wayne Pekoski and welcome to Google I.O. 2019. We're here at Shoreline Amphitheatre where there's a bunch of really cool demos and exhibits and fun things to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you on a live guided tour of all the really cool stuff here. So let's go and get started. Oh wow, look, so you can see all these augmented reality flowers on here. Oh wow, look, I got augmented reality glasses and hair. So we got Flutter running on iOS and Android devices and tablets and everything, it looks great. And I got a free snack. Oh wow, okay, let's try this one here. What's the temperature outside? A perfect day, exactly. It's always like that at I.O. All right, let's go. I guess I should see what the latest news is from my bosses here. So it's really cool because you can use either a remote control or a game controller and you can control Android TV to play games, watch YouTube videos and see what's going on. Experiments with Google. So what we're doing here is we've got a machine learning algorithm that's been trained with animal sounds and the more accurately you can make them, the faster your little tractor drives around the track here. This is so much fun. How was your experiment? Awesome. All right, so here we're in the gaming area where we're seeing lots of demos, interesting things. These are all targeted at developers who actually make games for Android and web and so forth. So there's a lot of really interesting news and updates for them. But what we should do now is let's go and check out what Stadia has to offer for a demo and let's check it out. So here we have Stadia, which allows us to play games on the cloud. So what do we have here? This is a developer tool demo that we have. So what you see here is we've taken this 2D image and we've trained a machine learning model offline and we can apply it directly in the game at runtime. Oh, well, so you can walk around. Can I play it? Yeah, right, of course. Cool, cool. So this is using shaders or? It's using machine learning technology with shaders. Wow, this is really cool. Thanks very much. All right, let's get out of here and see what else there is. You watch, I can do this. Oh, come on. Oh, I can't do this one. Oh, I got something. This thing is insanely accurate. Oh, and you can check out my poses on the screen here. Look at this. What a superstar. Okay, so this is the Android Auto area where we have Android that runs in vehicles. So what we see here is that we've got actually a head unit from a vehicle mounted here, and then the phone is projecting onto the screen. And so the phone can allow us to run Google Maps, uh, make phone calls, play music, whatever. So it's really neat because you can do all the same functions from your phone, but you can do it in a nice head unit mounted in your vehicle. Let's go see if we can get a sneak peek inside one of the cars themselves. Come on, let's go. All right, here we have an Android Auto Cast. This is exciting. So we've got Google Maps, we've got our phone, we can make calls with it, we can listen to our music. So um, yeah, let's get ready to take a drive. So the Android Auto people would let me take their car. So instead I thought I'd come over here and try out this virtual moped ride where I get to ride through the streets of Jakarta watching a 360 video on these virtual reality glasses here. It was really cool what you can do with a 360 video when you're sitting in a motorcycle that feels so incredibly realistic. Oh. All right, well, that was an amazing whirlwind tour of Jakarta on a 360-degree YouTube video. And this is also a great tour of the sandboxes at Google I.O. 2019. I hope you had as much fun as I did watching everything that's going on here, and I'll see you next time.